Hello everyone, we have here a logarithmic equation. Log of 27 in base 9 plus log of x base 3 equals 5 halves. And in this video, we'll be solving for the value of x. So how are we going to solve this equation? We have here base 3, we have here base 9. So how are we going to solve it? Okay, so in this video, we'll be using the change of base formula for logarithm. Okay. So in our case, we have here log of 27, you got base 9. The second term contains uh, base 3 right here in the log. And this is base 9 in the first term. So all we have to do is like solving exponential equation also. You can convert the terms into the same base as possible. So if that is possible. And here now, first term base 9. So we have to convert this base 9 into base 3. Okay. So we're using here the change of base formula for logarithm. Okay, we rewrite the equation here. That is log of 27 base 9 plus log of x base 3 equals 5 halves. Here, first term, we're using the uh, change of base formula. The first term can be written as logarithm of 27 divided by logarithm of 9. Here, the change of base formula. So that's, that is, logarithm of A, base B, can be written as logarithm of A divided by logarithm of B. And in here, we can put any base that we want. So let's say we can put this base 10 or base 10 on the bottom. If you do base 10, you have this, you're going to have the same base on the numerator as well as the denominator. If we can have a base of C, we can do that. Or we can have base of D, that would be the same way. It should be the same base. And in here, if you don't see any base, that is converted as log of A divided by log of B. That means this is on base 10. And so going back to our equation on the first term, so we'll be choosing a base which is related to this number 27 over here and that's related also to 9 on the denominator so what is the number that is related to those i mean the so the number or base must be a factor of both 27 and 9 the number will be 3 right so if you put 3 on the numerator put 3 on the bottom also on the denominator that should have the same base right now we have common base the second term has base of 3 so so that's plus log of x to base 3 and is equal to 5 halves. Now we focus our attention on the first term uh, numerator. Logarithm of 27 base 3. This simply asks what exponent of base 3 that is equal to 27. So it's literally that's what's being asked on here. So... So we have here the logarithmic formula expressed in exponential form. That is, let's say, logarithm of a to the base b is equal to c. And then here, this is expressed in exponential form as b to the c is equal to a. So this is b raised to the exponent c equals a. And based on our equation, that is logarithm of 27 base 3. We simply put this as, let's say, this is x. So if we uh, transform this logarithmic expression or logarithmic equation into exponential form, we're going to write this as equivalent. 3 to the power of x equals 27. So this is now 3 to the power of x is equal to 27. So what's being asked, what number you, you raise the base 3 to the power? To make it 27 so x must be 3 right since you're raising it uh, 3 to exponent 3 is 27 so this simply means uh, 3 multiplying 3 by itself 3 times right so 3 times 3 9 times 3 is 27 so that is 27 all right so value of x here is 3 so that's on going back to our equation the numerator, the, this value of logarithm 27 base 3 is 3. 
All right, so and the denominator logarithm of nine base three is we're asking exponent again of three to make it nine. So that, that will be two, right? Seems here logarithm of nine base three is equals if we designate as the unknown as x over here, we transform into exponential form again. So three to the power of x is equal to 9 and what exponent you put base 3 to make it 9 so 3 is squared right since 3 squared is 9 so the value of x is 2 over here so that's what we have right there and we have go back to the second term that algorithm of x algorithm of x base 3 and that is equal to 5 halves and from here to solve for the value of x, we have to do is isolate the variable, right, by itself. So we're moving these three halves to the right. So our equation now becomes logarithm of x base 3 is equal to 5 halves minus 3 halves. And this is equal to 5 minus 3 is 2. That's 2 halves. Or this is equal to 1. So we have here now logarithm of x base 3 is equal to 1 and transform this logarithmic uh, equation into exponential form then we have here 3 to the power of 1 is equal to x right so this is now 3 to the power of 1 is equal to x so x is equal to 3 to the power of 1 is 3 so that is x equal to 3. That's our final answer. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, if you like this video, just don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting and informative videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.